All right, and welcome everyone to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, playing as the Russian Empire. We are two months away from finishing off northern Spain, and the army decided to show up a, a little too fucking late. They could be, you know, directing their attention towards southern Spain, because we're going to take northern Spain at this point in time, but hey, I you guess fuck me, right? Now, um, we are going to run these turns real quick. Let's check our research real fast. We're going to start hardcore focusing. Uh, we need to get oil fire burners going as soon as possible. Start saving some weight from fuel. Uh, and also we want to get to 16, uh, 1,600 ton destroyers. Um, depending on the, the hull of the next destroyer that we unlock, um, that will really determine whether or not we go with the destroyer 2 as our first universal destroyer or if we go with the next destroyer hull it just depends um if we can get like say for example dual turrets on the next destroyer hull then we'll go with that because dual turrets are great um more more daca more better so it is it, it's definitely something we need to get um same thing with our cruisers we desperately need dual barrels on our cruisers if our cruisers had dual barrels it would be Fucking amazing. So we definitely need to get that underway. Um, but again, we're just waiting for the tech at this point in time. Uh, we got a couple Asias out attacking some transports. We love that. We have some very unfortunate Spanish ships running into the main fleet. Uh, you want a couple albatrosses? I will give you a couple albatrosses, bud. Um, we also need to, um, as I, as I said previously in the last video at the end, I said that we were going to, uh, end up replacing the Asias with Proventurns, um, because the Proventurn is just going to be a, uh, a longer term ship in my opinion. And it's got six, uh, six inch guns. It's a, it's a proper light cruiser. And it, I just think it's going to be an, it's going to be a better investment to build a bunch more of these rather than trying to refit the Asia. So and the Asia is it's it's kind of hitting its lifespan anyways. So we'll just just go about it like that. And then Vladivostok, Vladivostok, where are you? Here you are. So we'll go ahead and queue those up. A couple extra profit turns. Ah. Damn it, we hit the ceiling again. Dun, 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 dun. Oopsie. Did I do that? Uh, we, we really don't care if we lose any of the prop and turns at this point in time. Oh, the alien. Um, actually, we're going to play this one because I actually want to see the alien in combat. I have yet to see the alien actually fight. So I want to see what the alien's performance looks like. Um, even if it turns out to kind of be a, a kind of a shit ship, uh, what I'll end up doing is taking the alien and removing one of the batteries off of it. So it'll literally be just the profit turn just faster. And actually, in a uh, cost-cutting measure that I could use for the Ilian is taking one of the rear batteries off and basically saying, okay, we, we turn it into a, uh, into a scout cruiser that's got one less battery than the uh, profit turns and then turn the profit turns into basically a fleet cruiser. Oh, that's nice to watch, though. That's really nice to watch. All right, focus on the warship. Oh, did we not? Oh, crap. I didn't put torpedoes on the Ilians. Whoops. Well, that, have, that will have to be a refit that we put on them.
Oh wait. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to refit these with the bigger with the bigger secondaries. Oh wait, this has all the casement guns on it too. I guess it's not actually that big of a problem to refit this. Okay, we're we're getting good accuracy on these guns. I wish I had torpedoes. Damn it. I cannot believe I forgot to put torpedoes on this. Alright, looks like we're actually getting pretty decent accuracy on the guns. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Get me those floods. And we already killed the officer. <laughs> the officer's already dead. <laughs> Poor bastard. Oh, this is one of their gunboats. Holy crap, they still have one of these. Holy shit. They actually still... Dude, you're talking fucking 20 years. Or th really like 30 years of naval design. Competing against each other right now. Like... A full-blown gunboat versus a modern cruiser. Like, this is actually kind of hilarious. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just leave this guy in the dust. He can't keep up with us, and so we'll just sail by, kill the transports, and move on to killing him. Ooh, lucky hit from him. All right, so the Ilian is definitely showing a good, uh, a good, a good show right now. She's she's definitely proving that she's definitely worth the money. Again, just forgetting to put torpedoes on her. I I can't believe I freaking did that. Oh wait, didn't I say I I might have actually purposefully decided to do that. I don't remember. It's been it's been about 2 or 3 days since I last recorded this. So, I might have actually consciously decided not to put torpedoes on her because she's I was envisioning her as a scout cruiser and was kind of like, "Oh, hey, she doesn't really need torpedoes because I don't want her engaging the enemy. I want her to flank and harass." But yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the show from the alien right now. She's she's definitely doing good work. Definitely need dual turrets on her though because we we definitely need more firepower. But those 2-inch batteries are definitely like keeping up that stream of fire that is almost mandatory. Definitely a good little merchant raider. The only real deficiency she, deficiency she has as a merchant raider is that she doesn't have larger guns. If she had larger guns, she would be perfect. And if you might be curious why why larger guns would matter is because they need uh, merchant raiders need to be able to kill uh, any escort that they potentially come up against. Let's go kill that light cruiser now. Um, in this case, it wasn't a problem, but say they were being escorted by a battle cruiser or a really well built heavy cruiser, the six inch guns might struggle against it. Like for example, the uh, the Svit uh, Svit yeah, Svit Svitlanas. Wow. The Svetlanas might would most likely be able to kill this cruiser very easily because they have the armor to resist the shots, and this ship does not have the armor to take the shots. So, 
you know, the nine inch guns versus this ship would absolutely devastate it. Now these seven inch guns, of course, for example, if they actually landed their shots, but they're not gonna land their shots because they're dreadfully fucking bad. Um, they, uh, they, they could absolutely devastate their ship. What's actually the range of our six inch guns right now? 13, 13 kilometer? Okay, yeah, that would be... We could actually stand off quite a bit and actually outrange the cruiser if we needed to. The alien giving us a good fucking showing. Like, damn. Like, fuck. Like, I can only imagine what our heavy cruisers are going to be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> heavy cruisers with battleship armament like wait 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 what the fuck just smacked us uh sir that heavy cruiser over there what do you mean the ship just split in half it has 11 inch guns sir it has what <laughs> some poor battle cruiser thinking that it's going up against some little heavy cruiser like we have them now and then all of a sudden no you don't <laughs> surprise bitch ah there we go oil fire uh oil fired burners or boilers cool all right so we'll have those here soon enough and we'll be able to refit our ships with them Once we can finish this war and we can retire a bunch of our legacy designs, it'll be so nice. Uh, wow. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, okay, we can't do that. We didn't take it? Are you serious? We failed the fu- Eighty percent. Eighty fucking percent. And we failed. Holy shit. All right. Well, fuck it. Move into the Mediterranean. We'll let the army finish it. We'll let the army fucking have their fun. I, I'm i going home now. Holy shit. We actually failed that at 80 fucking percent. Are you fucking kidding me? And the Germans taking my territory. You fucking, you fucking German bastards. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I'm already planning on killing you, but I'm going to kill you faster. Fucking, they can't fucking believe that that failed at 80 percent are you fucking kidding me army you better take that oh oh wow holy shit <laughs> i didn't realize the disparity in forces Well, this episode is going to be aptly fucking named, given the, given the episode's name on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, man. That's karma. That's, that's fucking karma. I just want to fucking finish this goddamn war. Like, can I get a fucking break, please? Yeah, fucking go kill him. I 
And now I'm going to have even less of a chance of taking this. Because reasons. Fuck you. Fucking bastards. Fucking, fucking twats. <laughs> I'm not happy, okay? <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I got, I got it forced upon me. Albatross, albatross. Move. Okay. And the Germans are just continuing to take territory. And the Brits, the Brits are taking, kind of taking Afghanistan. They, what the fuck is going on here? I was planning on going to war with them, you know. Okay, well, we need to start pissing somebody else off. Um, hey, Germany. Uh, fuck it. I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll fucking shit all over Germany. Fuck it. Whatever. All right. Um, the Svetoslavs. Can we can we restart this construction? Maybe I suspect we should be able to resume. Yes, cool. Okay, we can. We got some stuff finishing up. We got three aliens that are five months out. We have some extra cash sitting around. We will proceed to do this. Whenever free cash, reinvigorate the science budget. The nerds must have their money. Remember, Tex warned us about the military-industrial complex. Well, guess what? The military-industrial complex gets exactly what it fucking wants here. Actually, in reality, in reality, I think we're actually making good time, like, in the whole world conquest thing, because it's only, it's only coming up to 1915, and the rest of the world is fucking fighting everything right now, so I think we're actually making decent time. I don't think we're that far behind the schedule, so I think it's literally a case of freaking Spain just turned into this big old just... Fuck you and what army. Uh, Alright. And of course it was Malaga that fucking had to spawn. Alright. Well, if we can even have a decent chance at this it'd be great the army is continuing to advance which is good because that at least gives me hope that we'll be able to end this war sooner rather than later Oh yeah, we need to take the focus off boilers since we already got what we wanted from that. All right, what's the chance now? 71%. If I don't fucking get it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I might just lose my shit a little bit. Oh yeah, we can uh, delete, delete, and then Come over here, take that off. Destroyers, we're almost at 1,500. We're working on 1,500 tons right now. We're five years or five months away from uh, geared steam turbines, which would be great. We're about to get Mark III three inch guns. <laughs> oh no. We're, I, I wish we were a little uh, a little further than that, but, you know, it is what it is. We're, you know, 15-inch guns right now. What size tor or what, what range torpedoes are we on? 6,000 kilometer or 6,000 meter. 
torpedo tubes. I think we might be working on triple tubes at this point. And then size-wise, we're a little behind in that regard. I think we should get a little farther. Maybe we should focus the size of the torpedoes a little bit. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You know what? No, we'll, we'll we'll leave the focuses for right now, and then hey, look, extra money. Where did that come from? I don't know, but guess what? It's going into the tech budget. <laughs> uh, the nerds, the nerds are happy. You got to keep the nerds happy, or else they don't give you technology. And you know what? The nerds shall be happy. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to piss people off again. Yeah, Germany, I'm I'm coming for you. You're taking you're taking my territory. You're taking China. You don't do that. That that was mine. I was literally working on getting to war with them, and then you decided to butt your ass in, you fucking bastards. Fucking shitheads. Oh yeah, Kuro, I shall build you another destroyer. Why not? Uh, speaking of which, increased tensions. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to kill you. I'm, I'm going to kill you, Germany. I'm going to take all your territory. I I am going I am going to do to you what you are doing to China because you do it to China, and and I don't like it. I want that. That's my land. Oh wait, Britain is failing epically at taking China, which is great. Um, oh crap. China China might survive. Damn it. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I wanted that. I want that land. I, I need, I need it. I need the land. I gotta scratch the itch, you know, man. I gotta scratch the itch. Ugh. You know, maybe, maybe the army comes in clutch here. Maybe, just maybe, I'll give some credit to the fucking army and be like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. We failed once. Not once, but hey, you know what? We failed once. You guys came in and started attacking, and we failed, unfortunately, and then we both managed to finish at the same time. Uh... Yeah, I would love to get extra GDP, but at the same time, I really don't have the ability to sacrifice naval budget right now. Come on! Let's take over Spain. Why is our economy growing as fast as it, as it is? Fuck, dude. Like, our economy is fucking booming. Oh, we just fi finished those aliens. That's what that was. The aliens just finished, and so we just got a huge infusion of cash. Nice. Hey, it means we can queue up more, more cruisers. <laughs> Oh, come on. Jesus Christ, United States. Fuck. Just building all the ships right now. The United States just went to war against everybody. Uh, okay. More money for the tech budget. <laughs> Our tech budget is massive right now. Like, it's a little crazy. All right. Uh, we just we just keep keep doing the turns. Just keep going. <laughs> we just need to take this land. We just need to finish this war. If we can finish this, everything's fine. Everything everything is good. Everything is proper in the world. We just haven't been at war for three fucking years. Actually, I think it's been like four, but still.
Oh, Britain just has random battle cruisers fighting cru <laughs> light cruisers right now. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh, cool. We're at we're at <laughs> we're randomly at war with China. I wonder how that happened. I don't know what you're talking about. No, sorry, we're not building you any more ships right now. Um, finances. Okay, so we can queue up. So we got... Where are they? Where are they? Where are their profit terms? Okay, so we're building two. So we need two more in Vladivostok. All right, and then we will send the fleet out of Vladivostok into, we'll just keep them in the Sea of Japan for right now. Asia, 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 all the fuck nations apparently. So we got we got a nice nice sized cruiser squadron, sixty eight thousand tons of cruiser. Um, we'll have them sit in the Sea of Japan, just creating problems <coughs> for the Chinese. Uh, what are the Chinese sitting on fleet wise? One battleship. Oh God, nothing. Okay, never mind. It, my my cruiser flotilla can destroy that. Sadly enough. All right, so. This is actually kind of good because it lets us just snowball off taking Spain. But we need to finish up in Spain so we can move the fleet that way. And then... What we'll do is, is we'll swap out the the uh, the synops. We'll go into port. They'll we'll get rid of the synops. And no, oh, we lost a shit ton of transports. Yay! Because fuck me, I guess. Uh, I'm always losing transports. Oh yeah, we, uh, I think we got, I think we got the new destroyer hull. So let's check that out real quick. Three. So that's the profit turn hall right there. All right, so we did not get the next destroyer hall yet, but that's looking like a lot more real estate for a lot more activities. So 1600 might be our, our our first universal destroyer. So we'll wait until we hit 1600 and then we'll then we'll decide. Yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. We'll just It's okay, Michael. You don't have to build everything at once. Not like you're not trying to replace a shit ton of ships right now because well, you need to. <clears throat> All right, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Do we just immediately just fucking delete? Let's go. Okay, the army took it. Now, 
do we get southern Spain? The army has not initiated an attack. They have not initiated an attack. Come on. No whammy. No whammy. I seriously want to look up the whammy game show and rewatch the entire thing for some fucking reason. I now have that inclination. The impulse is there. Can we just acknowledge the war score between <laughs> between me and Spain? <clears throat> that's that's not a healthy war score for any but any country. I'm surprised they've held on as long as they have. Like they had a really stable government overall. Like it was it, it's kind of shocking they have lasted as long as they have. Holy shit, United States. The Great White Fleet finally happening. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my lord. The unrest from failing the fucking capture is fucking horrendous. I might end up in a situation where I have to fucking reform my government because of these bastards. Naval invasion. Let's go again. Okay, the army is attacking. If the army has the forces to actually invade, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to move on from this shit show. I need to bring this down before I fucking have to reform my government. Wait, did I just lose? I, I just lost all of my fucking allies. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking with me right now? All right, they have the forces. We're, we're moving the fuck on. Okay. So these have the sent up class. So we're going to move those guys over there. These guys are the Aprotskans. So they're going to immediately beeline for Vladivostok. Like so. These guys also have synops, so we're just going to have them actually, you know, why, why do that when I can just send them here? Okay. If, if this ends up, ends up costing me my fucking government, I'm going to laugh, but you know what? At the same time, I just don't care at this point. Oh my God. I cannot believe we had two failures like that. Like... 80%, 71% fails. 43% fucking succeeds. Like, makes no fucking sense. Whatso fucking ever. And here I am. The army has to fucking come in and fucking take this bullshit in order for me to fucking actually goddamn take it. And now I have to fucking run over to China and start fucking handling that. It's like, god damn it, dude. so stupid so stupid like the most ridiculous freaking situation possible
Uh, I'm actually, like, f- physically agitated at that. Like, it's so annoying. It's like, no, they... Like, I would have rather had them collapse at this point in time and risk losing the fucking territory to France. Like, that's how annoying this is. All right, so we've launched an attack from Turkmenistan into... Or Kyrgyzstan into... Oh, Turkmenistan is fucking rebelling against me. And so is Georgia. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Take the fleet. Move this fleet over here so they can assist with this bullshit. And then this fleet needs to move into this area here. Oh, most most of it's repairing, apparently. All right. Um... Let's move the rest of this fleet into the med to just pressure the bejesus of Spanish. And then let's go ahead and get rid of the freaking synops because screw it. I just don't want to bother with them anymore. Okay. So that takes that off my payroll, which saves me quite a bit of money. And then the army is going to slowly grind this down. I cannot believe I'm having a... Re oh my god, this is so stupid. Like, I'm having rebellions because of this crap. Huh. <sighs> All right, well, let's all pray for a good outcome, I guess. Also, let's start building our Tibetos. Finance is still our, yeah, a shipyard. That's what I meant. Shipyard's still good. All right, you two can go into Kronstadt. We're commissioning a bunch of ships right now, so that's also, <clears throat> that's also why we're using a shit ton of money. I can't, I, I, I can't wrap my head around that freaking, hmm. I almost want my unrest to hit 100 real quick so my government reforms so I can get rid of these rebellions. Because if I lose any territory right now, it's going to annoy the shit out of me. And in the case of Georgia, like I would like to not lose it since it's a port. Sorry, Georgians, you don't get to be free. Fuck you. Oh, this is so dreadful. Oh, great. Oh, uh, well, okay. We, they literally stabilized and then we get, we got back. So Croatia is now an ally of the German Reich. That's, that's great. That's awesome. We've literally built the entire Croatian Navy, and now they are allied with our enemies. That's, that's fan-freaking-tastic. Just wonderful. The army's progressing, so it's, it's 
not all lost in that regard. The army is, in fact, actually making its way through. That's that random triumph. Still going to be... Okay, that's one turn. All right, so this fleet will just progress over here. And then we're... We're basically just in a waiting pattern. Like, that's kind of where we're at right now. <clears throat> so stupid. All right, so we get Destroyer 3 now. What are we getting here? More light cruiser tonnage. Is that unlocking a hull for us? No. We haven't gotten a freaking cruiser hull in a while. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, what's this given us? Once through boiler. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Because Spain was supposed to be over with by the beginning of 1915, but oh, I guess not. Now it's going to take into 1916 before we're finished with the fucking campaign. I have to say... I probably should have fought people on my border more more so. Like, I probably should have focused more on, like, okay, we regain control of Turkmenistan. That's good. We're regaining control of uh, Georgia. That's good. Um, okay, so we're, we're doing all right in that regard. Thank God. All right, and we're commissioning... Okay, we're commissioning the profit turns into Vladivostok, which is good. Our fleet is being annoying, and the army is slowly but surely progressing into southern Spain. So this is this is finished. Over here is finished. We can start focusing on here as soon as the ships arrive, and we can hopefully, hopefully, possibly, maybe. I'm not agitated. You're agitated. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and start uh, building more of the heavy cruisers. Uh, okay, so... Do, 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 do. Man uh, Manila, Havana. Let's go... What's our biggest port? Uh, so Talon. It might be Riga. Yeah, it's gonna be Riga. So let's do Riga next. Here's hoping we don't end up having a, to reform our government. I'd rather not, but you know what? It's a possibility because I queued this up and, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just not going to have... Yeah, I just don't want to fucking bother with it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I'm going to be salty over that 71 and the 80%. Like, those two, those two invasions possibly just completely fucked me oh i forgot to look at the uh destroyer three damn it we can look at that real quick 
I just love how we're fully blockading the the Spanish with just a bunch of light cruisers and a couple heavy cruisers. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, actually. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to build six of the new class of Dreadnought. I will position two in the Baltic, two in the Black Sea, and two in Vladivostok. And then I'll put the Oprotskins here in Spain. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to fight you right now. Can I have to? Great. Awesome. All right. We will go ahead and we will save this for the next episode. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Stay classy, you sexy bitches.